glistening in a darkened room, intricate South African bead art on display for the first time in the heart of the U.S. It absolutely blew me away. Absolutely. I was stunned. I just couldn't believe that things of that quality were being done with beads. These are the Nduango, panels of black fabric, hand-sewn into astonishing patterns that can reach epic proportions and take up to 10 months each to create. This beadwork is visually stunning, but a boucle is not just about creating art. It's also about creating independence and empowerment for the artists themselves. Beth Gibson and Entombefi Entobela set up a boucle in 1999 as a way for local women to be financially independent. They could use traditional skills that they'd learned from their mothers or grandmothers to earn an income and to create a product of excellence to, which would then reach the marketplace without any exploitation. Sandile Entobella is one of those artists. She's visiting the US for the first time to see her work on display. She says she used to be ashamed that poverty forced her to leave school early. They used to tell me that um, if you didn't go to school, you're nothing. But now, um, it's more, it's more. So I can tell them that they are nothing. I'm the one who's <laughs> good because my work make me proud of myself. I put food at the table for my children. They go to school and um, I'm, I'm famous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the work also has a deeper meaning. These Nduango are also memorials to other members of the Ubukle collective who've passed away, some from HIV AIDS. I have two sisters left us. They passed away. But um, all the time when I'm doing my beadwork, I used to remember them and I miss them. So when we're sitting doing our thing, I don't know how to say it, but um, I'm feeling it. The museum thinks the social issues underpinning the work are relevant in Washington, D.C. as well. You have this uh, idea of uh, economic improvement, uh, also the idea of HIV and AIDS. There's several AIDS clinics in this community. You may or may not know that um, the African-American community is one of the hardest hit populations for AIDS. The exhibition here in Washington means that a boucle now has commissions for the next two years. Bev says the money will go towards creating a guild so the skills and the work can continue into the next generation. When the first time we came in here, saw people crying because, they, because of our work, that makes me proud and very powerful and strong because um, I never see people so happy to see our work like that before. These beads may be small, but they have more power than you might think. Lorna Shaddock, Washington.